The Christmas Around the World exhibit at the Museum of Science and Industry now allowing guests to connect with their heritage, all while discovering the holiday customs of more than 50 cultures and faiths. This year, it's celebrating its 75th anniversary by coming to life beyond those museum walls. This is such a cool exhibit. Eight special treetopper stars and statues have been placed at eight cultural institutions around the city, each representing a different heritage. The Puerto Rican star is on display at the National Hellenic Museum, and that's where we join the museum's Dimitri uh, Georgesis and Anne Rashford of the MSI. Good morning, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so one thing I love about this exhibit with the Museum of Science and Industry is the history. Tell us a little bit about how it got started. Well, Christmas Around the World started in 1942 as a tribute to our allied nations during the war. It started with one tree, and now we have more than 50 trees. And we've also added a new exhibit called Holidays of Light about 20 years ago. And we're just thrilled that we have a chance this year to bring our celebration and exhibits out into the community. And Anne, I'm going to talk a little bit about my community, because for the very first time in 75 years, Assyria is now represented at MSI, and I have yes. to tell you, I am so touched and honored that MSI has chosen Assyria as one of the trees. So first and foremost, thank you. And second of all, talk to us about what you want people to learn from each of these cultures. Well, we actually have added three new trees this year, Assyria, as you had mentioned, Australia, and also Nigeria. And I think it's a chance for people to really learn about the customs, cultures, and faith of other countries so they can understand not only about other countries, but also learn more about their own. So we're really thrilled to bring this um, exhibit to the city of Chicago again, but also to bring it out into the community. And we're thrilled that the National Hellenic Museum is really one of our sponsors this year. And you are outside of that museum with the Puerto Rican star. Um, when people go by these stars, all throughout the city, what do you want them to think about? What do you want them to see and take away from it? Yes, we have this beautiful star here. We've actually been working with the Chicago Cultural Alliance and have identified eight different organizations, cultural organizations, that have agreed to host these beautiful star statues. So the Hellenic Museum here is hosting the Puerto Rican star, which is made up of the colors of the Puerto Rican flag. And Dimitra, if you can talk to us about the museum itself, that has a huge cultural history here in Chicago as well. Yes, Greek Town was founded in its current location in the early 70s. And as a cultural organization, we are so thankful to be part of this alliance this year. And as an institution that values cross-cultural exchange and dialogue, we are so thrilled to have the Puerto Rican star here with us at the National Hellenic Museum. And we are so thrilled that at the Puerto Rican Museum, they are also holding the Greek star. Oh, that's that fantastic. Is so nice. That is wow. so great. Yeah. Oh, you notice the snow, how beautiful it looks on it. It Dimitra's looks hair? Yes. <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> Ladies, Dimitra, Anne, thank you so much for being here with thank us you. this morning. We appreciate you so, so, so much. Go inside, warm up the tree topper star, folks. Those statues will be on view through January 1st at eight cultural institutions throughout Chicago. For a list of the locations, you can head right to our website, abc7chicago.com.